This is Bits and Bobs with Kits and Bits and your host Lynette Delane. Today's expert is Julie Gibbons of Tractor Girl. Hi, Julie. So, Julie, <laughs> yeah. why don't you uh, tell the viewers uh, what, uh, about your business and about you? Okay, I'm Julie Gibbons and I'm Tractor Girl and I help women in business. Um, I teach them all about how to do their branding. So, Julie, I know that you know the answer to this question because you have a blog about it and we've just talked about it. So, <laughs> what even is branding? <laughs> Okay, branding is everything that you do with um, and how you project yourself out into the world. So, like, it's every touch point that you have with your audience. It is your um, how you present yourself on video, mm-hmm. what you're wearing, even how you, what words you use, how you sound. Um, Ah, uh, look, branding is everything. So yep. every time you have an interaction with your customer yep. uh, or your audience, that is your brand. So it's your website, it's uh, the words you use on your website, it's um, your business cards. What do they look like? Uh, what do they even feel like? What your business card? If it's cheap, flimsy bit of paper, mm-hmm. well, that's yeah, that's sending a message about who and what you are and what yep. you represent to your customer. So everything. It's not just a logo. Please yeah. don't say it's just a logo. No, <laughs> definitely not just a logo. Um, I, I just remembered a, a quote, and I can't remember who it's from, but Jay Chris Crow uses it a lot, is it, that branding is what other people say about you when you're not in the room. Oh, that's a super famous quote, and I can't remember who said it either, but, yeah. We'll look up everything up the people, oh, yeah, we will. Show notes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. show notes. How exciting. <laughs> um, and so, Julie, I know that you've got a lot of tips around branding, um, and what are the five things that you think uh, people should keep in mind when they're developing their brand? Okay, um, your visuals, actually your visuals are your number one thing that you need to get right because they're your first touch point with your audience. We are so, um, such an online world these days that we you know everything like Facebook, um, Instagram, your website. When people come to see you, the first thing that they see of you is your visuals. So it's really important to get them right first. Um, they are certainly not the only thing, but they're the first touch point. Yeah, most such often. short attention span these days as well. Don't yeah, we? people, yeah, and they need to grab people's attention. Yeah. People will look for that visual before they'll actually read yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can, you can um, comprehend a picture in mm. a millisecond. Yeah. You will take much longer to read words. So get your visuals right first. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so number one thing. Mm-hmm. Number two thing is if you have no idea about your brand and what you want to put out in the world, um, start with a mood board, mm. okay? So um, if you want to, it's, it's really easy. Just start with Pinterest or something um, and just to get together um, a whole bunch of ideas about what you want your brand to be. It can be anything. You can do it on Pinterest. You can do it with um, magazines and scissors and glue. It doesn't matter, whatever way you use um, think about some keywords that you want to um, use as part of you know, what you want to project with your brand mm-hmm. and use them to guide you. And when you start off putting together a mood board, always just be, just include everything. Don't try and censor yourself as you go. Just include everything that appeals to you and everything you think that you might want to include. And just have be really expansive about it. Mm. And then after you've got a huge thing, then cull. And yep. then you'll much more easily get down to the essence of what it is that you want to put out into the world. Yeah. Yeah. So be expansive and then cull. And I think yep. this is one of the things that I didn't do enough early on. So I literally, when it came to my brand, was um, it's about simplicity and building blocks for business. <laughs> that was the visual that I had. And mm. colours, teal, blue and greens. Mm. Because mm. I like to wear them, and I always get compliments when I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so that, like, that was literally all I had. Um, mm. And I'm very lucky that I had a great designer, and she actually pulled out a beautiful logo for me. But the rest of my brand, all the, you know, the fonts and the color, the rest of the colors and the wording that I wanted to be known for, all of that sort of mm. stuff. Imagery, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yep. Yeah, it's taken literally two years to <clears throat> actually figure out what mm. that you know, what it means for me. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I wished I'd done the mood board thing to begin with. Mm. 
<coughs> mm. So number three thing is it's super important to figure out who your audience is. Yeah. Who are you actually speaking to yeah. and what's in their head and what do they um, expect from you? Mm -hmm. Even um, if you don't know who you're talking to, well, I think you're really losing out because we know deep down inside we already know that we will speak to our grandmother, our elderly grandmother, way differently yeah. than we will speak to our children. Yes. We know that um, innately. Yeah. So it makes sense that whatever your audience is, you will speak to them differently than you would speak to your husband or your, yeah. you know, whoever. So make sure you know who your audience is and then you'll so much more readily be able to choose the right words and choose the right imagery and, and all that stuff. So you need to know what they expect from you and, um, and, and so you'll be able to behave appropriately. And, and target market is so key, isn't it? Like every, whether it's been my business coach, my copywriter, my, you know, brand person, on, you know, online marketer person, you want someone to do your social media, whoever you, those sorts of things that are dealing with your brand that are helping you to become more of your brand or, or more of another brand that mm. you want to be, all of them will say, who's your target market? Yeah, yeah, all, yeah, all yeah. Of them will, you know, mm, so mm. It, it's really good to get clear on that as early as you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It is. It's, it's really vital. Mm. And the other thing is, like, you know, um, with your target market too, it, it, just, it just helps you, you choose the right words when mm. you're speaking to them. What are their pain points and, and all that kind of stuff? So you yeah. need to know what they're looking for and, and then you can um, do your branding to suit. Thanks for joining me for Bits and Bobs, an interview series for new business owners looking to avoid the pitfalls that we who have gone before have either already fallen into and climbed out of or managed to skip over altogether. Please subscribe and watch other episodes where I, along with other business owners, dive into some less talked about and sometimes tough subjects, highlighting some of those I wish I had known topics so that you can get your business going faster and easier. You can find my guest details in the show notes or on my website, kitsandbits.com.au.